Removing backgrounds manually can be a very tedious task, but Canva makes it possible with one click. Today we'll get tips for how to use this feature. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today we're talking about how to remove backgrounds from images in Canva. Now this is a Canva Pro feature, but I know some of you guys don't have Canva Pro. Not to worry, at the end of this video, I'll show you a free alternative that can also remove backgrounds. But let's start with the Canva method. And I'm here in this document I created. There's nothing special about it. It's just a 20 inch by 10 inch document. And let's look at the photos here and let's add a photo with a background to remove. I'll choose this one here. I'll drag it onto my canvas. I'll close my side tab. Now with your image selected, click the edit image button here. If you don't have your image selected, the edit image button won't appear. So make sure you have it selected. So I'll click this. Make sure you're on the effects tab and the top option is the BG remover. So I'll click this. And then you wait a moment and the background is totally removed. Now this did a pretty good job, but if you want to touch it up a bit, you can click the control again, these three lines over here, click it. And this brings up the interface to make some adjustments to your image. Now this one came out pretty well, but if I wanted to change it, what I could do is use these controls over here to erase or restore part of my image. So if I click erase, I can drag over parts of my image to erase it. And this is useful if you have parts of your image that weren't fully erased, but I'll undo this. You can also go the other way, restore. So I'll click that and then you can paint in parts of your image. So maybe I wanted to have the background be the outline of her. I could do that. And of course you can change the brush size as well here. And you can also toggle show the original image. That way you can see what was added or subtracted. So as I erase things, I can still see where the original image was. Let's undo this. But I'm pretty happy with this selection, so I'll just click back here. Now if I want, I can resize my photo here. I can also add a background to it. So if I scroll down, if I click the background button down here, I have different backgrounds I can add to it. So you can see that it's fully transparent. Now when you remove the background, you can then go and download the image as a transparent image if you like. That also requires Canva Pro. I'll click Share here. And then click Download. Make sure you have PNG selected and check the transparent background box. Then click download. I'll save this somewhere on my computer. I'll just call it demo. Now let's open it up. I'll open it up in another program to show you that it's transparent. And you can see the image is transparent. That's what the checkerboard background represents. So making a transparent image is a very easy process in Canva Pro. Okay, now let me show you the totally free tool for removing backgrounds. And that is Creative Fabrica. I'll put a link down in the description below. Now you can get your image from anywhere, but let's say you're in Canva here and you want to download this image and remove the background. So I'll go to Share, Download, and I'll just download as a PNG. And I'll click Download here. Now sometimes it gives you an error where it complains if you only have one image or a graphic on your design. It doesn't like you to export them by themselves. I'll close this. To get around this, you can just add a text box and just give it some text, say Test, and then move it off to the side. And you can make the color white so it doesn't even show up. So the text is there, but it's invisible. I'll click share again, download, and I'll download the image. I'll just download it somewhere on my computer. I'll call it original and it's downloaded. So now I'm on the Creative Fabrica website, specifically the background remover tool. I'll put a link down in the description and I'll click add your image here. This brings up their Spark Studio tool. I'll click add a file or drag and drop and then I'll find my image. I'll select it and I'll click open. And it does a pretty good job of removing the background. Now what you can do is you can click download directly over here. So I'll click that button and I'll save it to my computer. I'll just call it transparent PNG. I'll save. Now back in Canva, I'll delete this file and I'll click upload files. Select my transparent one, click open, and then I'll drag it over to my canvas. And we have my transparent image here. And to prove it's transparent, I'll add a background. Let's give it something like this. And there you go. So Creative Fabric has a free tool for removing backgrounds if you don't have access to Canva Pro. And you can find the link in the description. If you'd like to see more tutorials on Canva, leave a like for this video as it lets me know what types of content my viewers want to see. And of course, if there's any specific topics you want covered, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.